And then to be followed by Andy Whiteman. Thank you. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for advance sight of her statement. And on behalf of Scottish Labour, I offer our condolences to the families of the people who died after contracting mould infections at the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh. We recognise too that this is also very distressing for, for the staff at the hospital. But unfortunately, here we are again. It's a different hospital, a different city, different infections, but the outcome is the same. Patients have died and public confidence continues to dip. The Cabinet Secretary rightly mentioned the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital, as well as the lessons from the Vela Leaving outbreak of 10 years ago. None of us want to learn of any further tragic outbreaks, no matter how rare or how few patients are affected. So can I ask the Cabinet Secretary what actions she has taken personally since taking up her post to ensure that routine monitoring in all of our hospitals is as excellent as it can be, in particular to protect vulnerable patients from these potentially fatal infections? Cabinet Secretary. I'm grateful to uh, Ms Lennon for her question. Um, I think it's important to say, uh, of course, uh, we all want to see the minimal uh, infection uh, outbreak in any of, our health, any of our healthcare settings, whether it's acute, community, health and social care, whatever it might be. But it, and that is absolutely, I'm sure it's shared with Ms Lennon and Mr Briggs and others, uh, absolutely uh, my complete focus. Patient safety is the most important thing that any cabinet secretary can focus on. But we need to accept too that not all healthcare infections are preventable. And some emerge that are resistant to existing medication and resistant forms of treatment. And to some extent, whilst our uh, medical advances are exemplary and much to be acknowledged globally, there are times when we are pre playing catch up to how infections and bugs uh, work to uh, be resistant to antibiotics, for example. Uh, in terms of my own uh, personal uh, involvement in this, uh, I have, of course, as you'll know, uh, I'm very happy to set out a full list uh, for Ms Lennon, but uh, I've, I have, as you know, uh, tasked the, the uh, previous Director General uh, and the current one uh, with uh, direct contact uh, with uh, Directors of Estates, uh, work with infection control leads. Uh, we have a regular uh, update on uh, all of the issues that this, uh, hospital, uh, this uh, chamber is aware of. We have raised it with chief executives at every meeting. I have raised it with the chairs. Uh, we have made, paid particular attention to the question of uh, maintenance and estates uh, and continue to do the work on that. And again, we'll update the chamber on that. So this is a constant part of the job that I am doing uh, because it matters so much. Andy Whiteman.